know, since social media has become such a big thing and it's not necessarily um, a dating app like Match.com or Black People Meet or Plenty of Fish or OkCupid or Tinder or Soul Swipe, people still use it to try and holler at people. And I think it's time that I make a video on how to possibly successfully make that happen because I had a run in with a gentleman who was kind of just didn't get it. All right, so recently I had a gentleman enter my DM on Instagram. Nice looking gentleman, page was not private, so I was able to see his pictures and see that he was attractive. So he did get a response out of me, and he's in Houston, which where I used to live, and I'm not in Houston anymore. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, he was like, you know, you wanna do lunch, whatever. I was like, yeah, you in my city? He was like, no. So I'm like, whenever you get to my city, you know, we'll do lunch. I'm not necessarily saying that oh this guy jumps in my DM and invites me to lunch and I'm gonna go do it this meet the stranger without any you know work in between I'm just you know kicking the shit with him you know whatever um, just trying to you know start a little conversation or whatever not necessarily that I like I will go out with him as soon as he gets here to go eat no um of course it's gonna be a little exchange before that between he and I before that happens to get to e to even get to that point so here's where things went wrong for him um, but it'll probably help you other gentlemen who are looking to date a girl outside of a specifically a dating site like tinder or soul swipe or okay cupid or whatever um, here's where he went wrong in the situation so I hit him with a well let me know when you're in such and such we'll plan for lunch then you know just trying to get some conversation started not necessarily meaning I'm gonna meet him up but he was like okay we can keep in touch you know have a few conversations that way we can get to know each other which would entice me to get there sooner than later my response was sure when you have something intriguing to talk about message me here in Instagram DM he goes on to say I truly believe the best conversations are verbal too much can be misinterpreted in text I just like to hold a quick conversation with you this afternoon if you aren't intrigued we'll leave well enough alone and I was like so does all the other five million whatever men that waltz up into my DM thinking they have to do no work to stand out and just get their way he was like makes sense I didn't realize you had that many followers so he was like but I do understand your point the only issue I have is there's nothing I can type to make you say he's the one life is about taking chances and believing in the best but being prepared for the worst that's just my opinion I'm not a guru so I'm basically rolling my eyes at this point like you make an excuse right now so I typed to him you may need to stop coming to my DM asking to immediately get out of my DM with no effort a few sentences instead of asking for a call or a number etc like zero effort has been put forth to pique my interest to even want to find out if you're the one zero interest he was like gotcha seeing that I'm not one to generalize a group saying you men you women etc I'll do you a favor and fall back there's no amount of sentences that would assist you annoying me which is why I asked to hold a conversation as adults are capable of okay cool have a good day I said he wants to basically have a verbal conversation instead of texting but still wants my phone number to talk to me my thing is no I'm not gonna have a conversation with you dude through DM and immediately know that you're the one but the very least you can do this the slightest bit of bit of effort that you can make is to conversate with me back and forth do through DM and just pique my interest a little bit to the point where I'm like wow he's a little interesting like I want to know more I want to see if he could possibly be the one or whatever let me give him my number didn't have time to go back and forth a day or two or whatever like just didn't have time so I'm just like fine bye like you and everybody else bye now let me show you an instance where going back and forth kind of worked little history a uh, little history on this person right here whom succeeded with actually getting a date with me or getting to meet me or go out and hang out with me um, this person had been messaging me for a couple of years um, just small talk like real small talk like a sentence here and there something that you can say on under a picture nothing that needed to be in a DM it was like hey how you doing what's up you good today how's your day da, 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 da. Um, their page was unprivate. They were cute, very attractive. You know, I glanced over it real quick, whatever. Um, I think I probably responded here and there, but the conversation got real dry, real boring, real fast. So he really never got too far with me. So fast forward now, this person.
person messages me again and was like, you know, I've been trying to talk to you for a couple of years now, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, where they went right, where they were having conversation with me back and forth, even though they weren't really talking about anything because they were kind of attractive, I got, I went ahead and entertained it a little bit and responded with short answers since it was like really nothing major to talk about. But he was just telling me about himself, where he worked, what city he works in, what city he lives in, where he went to school, blah, 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 about his daughter, things like that. So he was just, you know, just making conversation and I was like okay well let me go back and forth since he's make, putting forth the effort to talk and he is kind of cute I'll go ahead and see you know how intriguing he may be will he pique my interest away when he's messaging me you know just telling me about himself and asking me a little bit, bit about myself and what I like and what I don't like and where I lived and where I would like to live things like that um he still has at this point has not asked me for my number or to get out of the dms and talk you know elsewhere on another platform or anything like that so i was comfortable to continue to keep talking because it was no pressure he didn't say anything to turn me off nothing on his page was like lame or dumb or him smoking weed or just pictures with a bunch of females or whatever so you know i continue to talk to him now he did get out of the dms and get the number well he got the email for the facetime so here's how he got out of the DMs. He asked me about polyamory because that came up in conversation in the DMs. And I was like, um, well, what is polyamory? Whatever. Probably just make conversation. I'm like, well, Google it. He was like, no, I want you to explain it to me. He was like, I want to be one of the relationships that you have, what you think. And I was like, I think I don't even know you. That's what I think. Um, so I can't answer the question about if we're going to be in a relationship or not. Like, I really don't know you. So he was like, you definitely don't. So I need advice now. What's the respectful way to get to know someone beyond this platform? Just in general asking me, but I know he was talking about me specifically. And he was like, and since I'm clearly interested in you, I use Montana as an example. So my answer to him was be consistent on this platform and try and set yourself apart from everybody else that's inconsistent and ain't talking about shit on this platform and earn the ability to talk to me outside of this platform. He was like, I like it makes things more organic and very deserving. Mm, love is well thinking. He was like, one more piece of advice I need besides me complimenting you based on your pictures and videos because you're attractive. What keeps your mind engaged at this point in your life? He was like, by the way, I'm such a such age or whatever. And I was like, engaged? I was someone who can keep my attention and turn me on without using body parts, knowledge, hustle, spirit, enlightenment. I said, it's a, little, it's a lot, it's a little deeper than surface level. And he was like, I fucks with that. Where are you originally from? Then the conversation went on. Still, he didn't answer me for my number yet. So conversation went on between he and I for a couple more days. I guess whenever he was free during the day or whatever.